and five. You ready? All right, I hope you guys are ready. First pack opening of Fall of Argent Board. We'll record this sucker, and we're going to talk about the cards as we go along. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like a pack opening video, because 105 is a lot, so I'll probably just be s uh, going through them, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, exciting. And we're starting off with a bang, which is nice. I got Guard Dog, Pensive Lumen. Okay, I haven't seen Pensive Lumen. That's an interesting little tribute mechanic. It's a 7, 6, is 5. That's not bad. Guard Dog is another cool tribute. Oh, oh, puppy. Okay, I love this. Ruination Sledge, we've already talked about it. It's pretty good. Overheat looks kind of like a bad Hoof Slash, but yeah, I mean, it's got Scout. It's maybe a better Hoof Slash, actually. Surgeon Saw is kind of an interesting little Dark Return thing. Oh, Linebreaker Shield plays Shield Bash. That's really thematically appropriate, and also, like, that is a lot better than Shield Bash. Whoa, that card's sick! 2-2 two, two Endurance? Are you kidding me? Okay, no, that card is actually, that, that's just a good uncommon. All right. Uh, Lingering Influence, I really like this card. This seems really cool. Draw a Justice Sigil from your deck. Like, um, yeah, it's more like just Justice, like, sort of doing Justice-y things, and yeah, but, like, nonetheless, what's a Legendary? A+. Plus. All right, we already talked about Copper Hull Bracers. It's a super solid uh, card in terms of, like, aggression in green, so we'll see if we can make that work. All right. Lego. All right, what do we got? Advanced Scout. Does, has everyone started with a Legendary? I heard somebody else saying that they started with a Legendary. I, I wonder if they just, like, led with that. That would be interesting. Territorial Elf, that's cool. Crown of Recruiter. Oh, Tribute gets you a Soldier, but you create it and draw it, which is not as good. Um... I mean, there's still, like, some things for... Uh, drawing creatures with, like, tribute is kind of interesting because there's a lot of discard mechanics that turn cards that you draw into better cards. Shamanic Blast is really odd. I don't know what how I feel about this. This is, like... Like, Static Bolt is not uh, in the draft packs, and that is, like, <laughs> very sad, but, you know. Oh, and there's our Crest of Mystery. I haven't seen this yet. It looks like it's a picture of a radiant on a crest. Yeah, Zenon's crests are always like Zenon's whole banners and crests. They seem a little bit odd, but this is this is fine. Okay. The legendary was Copper Hall Bracers, Hoyt the Mage. Okay, so we got Drifter. This one's odd. It's just a non oni run in one drop. <laughs> Rambot. That one's kind of cute. I, I'm curious how good this card is. It seems like it's probably pretty bad. Uh, I got one for Grenadines uh, in my draft. Staff of Speed. Okay. Man, there's so many spell... Like, basically every iconic spell has gotten... And even some that aren't all that iconic, like Trigger Happy, have gotten some, like, spellcraft cards. Endurance and a slow for four. Okay, so again with an Endurance unit. That's really interesting. Uh, Rapid Yeti has Killer. Oh, that's a three-drop 2-2 two -two Killer, which... That's Dilfex Stalker stats, but it's also a Yeti. Which means that you can do a little bit more with it than you can with Dinosaurs. Fierce Mosa Raptor. That's a tricky tribute, but I think you can do it. Um, yeah, that's that's sort of like after the fact, but the card is also just like reasonably well statted. Like this is Horned Vorlunk stats, and I think you're happier to have this in your deck than you are to have a Horned Vorlunk. So sure, it seems good. Spite Feeder. Oh, Spite Feeder is a good name. I know there's a card called Spite Feeder in Magic, right? Player of your choice discards the top two cards of your... Okay, that's the second mill we've seen. There's a whole mill archetype here. Spite Feeder is a, a card. There's a Radiant that's doing that now. There's got to be more. Like, if you have Spite Feeder, you definitely have to have more. Insatiable Sarasaur. Nice. All right. We got something called Rotor Cycle. Another engine. Two, three, flyer for four. That's not bad in blank, like, colors. Like, that's a pretty good draft common, I would say. Uh, Ruination Sledge is really fun. Good with Rotor Cycle. Uh, Flame Fang Charmer is interesting. Flame Fangs only cost one. I don't know. This card is not that aggressive. It's kind of an interesting draft common. I'm I'm guessing that it's not going to be that good in ranked, though. Uh, substitute. Transform a unit into a 3-3 dinosaur with overwhelm. It's not a fast spell. But it does disable things. Also, that art is really adorably cute. This is a good choice for substitute. I like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I'm down with this. This seems pretty solid. Mask Maker. This is like the tribal card that uh, becomes other types. This kind of looks like a stranger, which is really odd. Um, but yeah, like we'll see exactly what ends up happening with Mask Maker. He is a cultist, so 
Um, but yeah, he's a coat of arms that uh, basically just picks a type, but is also wrapped around a body. And uh, yeah, as a 3-3 three, three for 4, I'd say that's not amazing, but it's solid for draft. Good tribal, good just tribal supporter for draft. Downfall, this is a cool little vanquish effect with scout. That actually seems very solid in draft and other places. Vile Varmint, flying and deadly and summon nightfall. Oh, it's so just so fat. All right. Um, yeah, card's okay. Like, it's actually probably reasonable as a draft common. Like, you now have two deadly units that you can play down, and what this one actually does good things against other stuff. Death Strike, that card looks good. Um, yeah, like, straight killer effect on a warp, that seems solid. I'm down with it. Not sure if it's in ranked, but uh, Sheriff Marley, nice. Good, we can get ourselves some deputies. I'm glad to see her, in, and we get to see her in English too, because I don't think we've actually seen the copy of it in English. The tribute on Grave Tender makes Grave Tender pretty decent for a Wisp. Oh yeah, that, that's a solid common Wisp. Ankle Cutter is really interesting. Kills some Akarias and Titans. Uh, Mistress of Light. Your Wisps have plus one plus one. Tribute your Wisps. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Fancy. Now we actually have Lumen hanging out with cultists. I think this is the first image in which we've seen a Lumen actually hanging out with the cultists. The cultists have been worshipping the Lumen and the Umbran for quite some time, and they don't really seem to like actually interact with each other. So I'm glad to see something going on like that. But also they're in Argenport, which is a little worrying. Alright, cool. I wonder how that's gonna go. Trick shot. This card is cool. This is a really good idea for a fast spell. I like it. Uh, we've got War Painter, Sharpened Reflexes, Sky Crew, pay 8 to exhaust to give another unit, plus 3, plus 3, and flying. Oh, it's the counterpart to Ground Crew that doesn't suck quite as much. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, no, that card is... This is a pretty good draft rare, or draft common. Like, this card just gives you the win if you keep it alive for long enough. Fairly solid. It's not quite... Yeah, it's like Flight Lieutenant levels, but uh, you don't have to play it, play it at 7. You can just put it down and use it to chump. <laughs> Another Mask Maker. That's fine. I haven't seen all of the cards in the set, by the way, which is why we're reviewing some of these as we see them, because I, I don't know all of them. Feed the Flames. This card is, I think, pretty bad, but could be okay. Like, it basically just turns two cards into two Flame Fangs, but it costs you double red influence, so it's basically just a way to play two units out of power. Ah, you know, that's actually not awful if you're basically trying to substitute your power for more cards. Feed the Flames actually allows you to do that, so it's kind of like late game aggro, which is weird. Um, yeah, I, I could see putting this in like a basic deck. We'll, we'll see if that ever ends up happening. It's just like the Reckless is so bad for you. Stone Car pick Pickaxe, I haven't seen this. When the wielder hits the enemy player, create and draw a Granadin. Good. Spellcraft 3, play Quarry. Uh, that's a lot for a Quarry. That's an awful lot for a Quarry, and the stats on the weapon aren't that good either. Um, and the Granadin is not as good as, like, say, a uh, the draw off of the quick draw 1-1. One, one. I don't know. I don't know if this does anything. It doesn't give you evasion, so it doesn't make it easy to play the Granadin. And then, like, Quarry is more if you're trying to be sneaky, so yeah, it's definitely not going to play in ranked. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if I like it in draft all that much. I mean, you like weapons in draft, because putting this on a flyer just kind of blows out everything, and you turn your flyer into a unit that creates blockers on the ground. Um, that's actually a really good mechanic in general. Like, whenever units create blockers on the ground, they're, they're much stronger. Tinker Drone Dropper is really fun that way. So this turns anything into a Tinker Drone Dropper. That's okay. Um, okay, as long as it's flying, of course. Good to get some Territorial Elves. We need four copies of that. I've got, I think, I don't have one yet. Subterranean Sentry I kind of don't like, <laughs> um, but it's got a lot of stats for a 7-drop in draft. Alright. Death Strike, Robo Buddy. Uh, we got Manufacture. Which all, we've talked about all of these already. Uh, Lunging Wisp. Two, okay, 1-2 Ambush. Interesting. That's not bad for an ambush. It's eh, it's pretty bad for an ambush. There's a 2-3 ambush, so I don't know if this card's going to see play in, like, purple decks. Mostly because, like, there's nothing it kills. It's good at killing Granadin? Oh, and it's also good in, like, Wisp. Like, if you're buffing your Wisps, then Lunging Wisp is totally acceptable. Like, it's very similar to buffing a killer unit. Sandspout Mirage, Ambush, Summon... <laughs> what? <laughs> Ow. 
Oh, that card is gross. <laughs> it's a zero five, so it doesn't give you like amazing. But what a blowout on common. Good God. Okay. Yeah. No, that that card sees play in ranked. I think, and also just. Ugh. That's fantastic. Okay, yeah, no, like, this card is, like, not, not super well statted for a 4-drop, but uh, I can't really think of a better trick than just all of the units that you attacked with now murder your opponent's attackers. Oh, boy. All right, long barrel. Ooh, it's got a piercing shot on it. That's one we haven't seen yet. Okay, one, um, one for a 2-0 Overwhelm. That's already strictly better than Smith's Hammer. And also it plays Piercing Shot. Oh, man. This just makes me want to make Spellcraft give the skill to... Man, Spellcraft should give the skill to the spell. That would probably be, like, weird, because it, then it would, like, have units giving skills to spells, but... Oh, that'd be so cool if Piercing Shot had Overwhelm. I mean, it wouldn't really be good for Piercing Shot, but nonetheless. Okay, uh, all the same, like, this is a good rare. Like, this is the best uh, one-drop weapon we have at this point. Card is sick. All right, I'm down with it. Uh, yeah, Workshop Tinker, you can discard a card to create and draw a Tinker. Oh, actual Tinker. <laughs> yeah, like, these cards are really interesting because they basically just give you a, like... The, so we talked a lot about like the different like complaints of Eternal's power structure, and one of the things that Eternal's power structure has general problems with is when you have too much power, too little power. And we're getting a lot of draft commons, and like I think these are ranked playable commons, where like you can just discard power to create useful spells. Like that is that is actually significant advantage if you are playing low end decks. So like cards like Workshop Tinker might make it. A 2-2 Endurance is nothing huge to write home about, but it works well with uh, weapons, and Tinker gets you weapons, so that seems fine. Wormstone, there's our forecast 7-7. Seven, seven. Back Alley Delinquent, this card actually seems pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of opposed to having more sabotages, but uh, all the same, it seems like a 1-3 Quick Draw is kind of an interesting stat line, like you can put cool weapons on it, and yeah, like it, it's not powerful enough for ranked, so it's just like, well, I mean... There's going to be, like, the eight Sabotage decks, but whatever. Shadowstalker has Unblockable at Night and Tribute Nightfall, which is interesting. Um, that card actually seems very good. Like, that makes a... There's a meaningful Nightfall archetype in draft now because of that card. Chairman's Catch. <laughs> it's my chair, man. All right. Good old Tribute Enablers. All right. Black Hall War Leader. Okay, so we got our first increase of Inspires, and we got some good Shadow cards. Should play some more Shadow this time around. I'm actually like, this is my lowest faction. I've been playing very little Shadow lately, and Black Hall War Leader is pretty cool, so we should give her a run. She seems like a fairly reasonable card, and we could do some like purple red like Warcry stuff. Uh, Oni Eulogist Tribute plus one plus one. <sighs> that card's bad on either side. Three for a five two. No, yeah, that's just awful. <laughs> Hot blood barbarian is really cool. I like this card a lot. Harmless question. That's a good like sort of lead in. Uh, we can use this with our weird ridiculous decks. We should build a really super common combo deck very quickly. Thief's pick, unblockable spellcraft three play pilfer. Oh, cute! It's a weapon that gives unblockable permanently, which is already good, and the spellcraft is. A, like a spell that you so want to play i'm okay i love this weapon this is great this is such spellcraft is such a good mechanic guys rapid yeti's cool resurface is cool first shot is what is this give one of your other units plus three health while you have first frost shaman okay yeah we've seen a couple of, i've seen a couple of these these are i mean they're only playable in draft but they're still pretty decent um this one's probably on the weak side because giving units health is usually not that amazing um, but it does give you a very good defensive line, so. Illumination Wisp, 1-3 Flying Endurance for 2. That feels a lot, like, there's some good stat lines on these guys. Like, this is not that great, but it's better than most other 2-drops that I've seen, so. I'm fairly down with it. It's mostly just that it has no immediate impact on board that makes it scary, but, like, there's so many spellcraft weapons to throw on these guys. 
you're not going to like lose out by playing fairly well statted evasive units. Prime level plower, Primeval Plover. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, little flying dino that makes other dinos good. I'm okay with it. Yeah, Thief's Pick, though. That's card advantage and also, like, a way to win. That's a card to watch out for. Citywide Ban. Okay, I did hear about this one. This uh, Somebody called it a worst... Uh, a worse reign of frogs. I don't know. I think that like picking the like the highest cards in your opponent's deck is actually pretty important. And like while the main interesting thing about it is that it does not prevent your opponent from getting market uh, relic destruction, which is pretty likely to be fairly common. So that probably will deny it a lot of play. But I think this card is better than reign of frogs because it doesn't leave frogs on the board, which matters so much more often than you'd think, and it also, like, actually gets the card that you want as opposed to whatever's in his hand. Um, like, the card disadvantage is only applied if he draws the card, but I think I'm pretty down with it. Herald of the Parliament, plus one, plus one, while the player has no units. An enemy player has no units. Pay four to create an owl. Oh, and then you have to play the owl, too, so the owl costs eight in total. I think this is still probably on par with Kothan. Yeah, no, he's pretty decent. Three for a 3-3 three, three flyer. And then he's got, like, a cool control ability that's fairly card advantage worthy. It's definitely a draft bomb. Ranked, it's a little slow, but not that slow for an L. I, I think that seems reasonable. Sandglass Parma plays Teleport and gives you plus one maximum power while you're wielding it. Um, okay. Interesting. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on with that card. I don't know how the pattern works, but it doesn't sound like it's going to work well. Petition is cool. You can get power chart cards of whatever you want. Like, you can grab your tactics. You can grab your monuments. I think it doesn't work with transmuted monuments or tactics, so that's a little strange. But overall, like, you can actually get crests. and like. So this is a card that just reads pay two to gain one power and scout. That's okay. I think we can do that. Um, yeah, like, plus one maximum power and scout for petition is pretty cool, and then it can also maybe pick up some other good things. Corrupted Umbran has Berserk and Lifesteal. That's not bad at all. Um, oh, it's also one of those two armed Umbrans. Good to know, good to know. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Lifesteal 3-3 three, three with Reckless is totally playable. Four cost is a little bit more expensive, but Berserk is a pretty decent, reasonable ability, so... And that extra health does actually matter. I'd say that's a solid draft common. Long Barrel. Oh yeah, we placed Piercing Shot. Knight of Sorrow. Another Paladin that has Lifesteal and Tribute plus 2 plus 2. It's not a lot of stats for ranked, but it's dang good in draft. 5 for a 4-4 four, four Lifesteal, and Paladins with Lifesteal in general are just kind of a thing. So this works out pretty well. Silverwing Purge Leader. Uh, this one has like an amazing German translation, by the way. Can we like... Can I change that? I don't want to change that, I think. But settings. Can I change my language? Hold on a sec. <laughs> to find German, that's Turkish, that's Chinese. Is this? Deutsch. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay. All right, whoops. I didn't realize it was gonna completely restart the client. This might be harder to find now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thanks. Um... <laughs> oh, no, and it's not even... Oh, no, I'm never going to be able to find it now because it's in my cards, and I think my cards are here? Mine's Samlong. Oh, God. Okay, it's green, and it costs, like, five, right? <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. There it is. No, that's a different one. Goodness. All right. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 anyways, this was a terrible mistake, and I regret everything, but this is pretty fun. <laughs> How much does it cost? Was it a 7 cost? There it is. Silver Flugel Sauber Ung Sanfjord. <laughs> Anyways. 
lessons learned, and now is it Glossar for settings? No, that's the glossary. Uh, I'm still in good for settings. Thank you. Yes, please. <sighs> German compound words are awesome. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Um, I don't know, let's go back to opening packs. That's what we were doing. Getting horribly distracted, basically. Oh, nice. 7-7 seven, seven Ambush Tribute. The enemy discards the top 13 cards of your deck. What a weird tribute, by the way. This card works really well with Dream Snatcher to make stupid things happen. And uh, it's pretty good with Recursion as well. This is another card like uh, Umbran Reaper, where you just repeat the effect over and over again and you mash your opponent. Um, following this up with a Solitude is pretty good. I like This is the mill card. I don't know why it's a 7-7 seven, seven Flying Ambush, but it did have to cost 8, so that seems like a reasonable stat line. <laughs> Uh, hold up. The enemy player discards two cards of their choice from their hand. Oh. Okay. So it's similar to Subvert, but it doesn't pick a card. Like, instead of you gaining a card and them losing a card, you have to get two of their cards. Like, that's... I don't think that's as good as Subvert, just because Subvert will actually, like, gain you something that you can use and, like, sometimes actually get some cool stuff and hold up, like, also doesn't randomize it so yeah that 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 feels like you're gonna have either like really bad discards because i have too many cards or really bad discards because i have too few but four is about the right time where you can actually just get two cards out of their hand so maybe that's okay it is straight card advantage for shadow so yeah certainly you'll play it in draft Abduct steals enemy units to your void but also forces discard like it's at least as good as treachery in that respect but it doesn't deal damage Still seems okay. Master at Arms is probably the best of the summon, give your units things. Resolute Paladin gets invulnerable to damage when you play a spell. That's better than when it attacks. Um, yeah, that might be playable. Dodges tricks in a pretty cool way. Learned Herbalist, gain a health, and you can discard it. Yeah, this one's kind of cool. Uh, like, it's a good life force activator, and also you can get a secret pages off of it, so, like, this is just obviously like a really good Mask of Torment card, so I think you can actually play this in Ranked. Okay. After Image, Arcane Defense, give two enemy units negative one this turn. Okay, that's potentially a devastating trick, so I wouldn't count it out. Uh, Changey Stick, great. Uh, we have Consuming Flame, sacrifice unit to deal three damage to an enemy as Warp. Huh, that seems good. Um, the warp discount, yeah, like, the warp is really solid. Uh, it's not a fast spell, so you can't use it as a trick like you could Burnout. I'm not sure if it's as good as Burnout, but I still think it's fairly decent. Also, I'm happy to see more Praxis Mages doing stupid things. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Carandon Merchant, I've already got one of these, and, uh, so now I've got two. I can build myself a purple market. Crest of Mystery is Time and Primal, or Time and Shadow, looks good. Horrifying Helm is Spellcrafty stuff. Uh, Ice Spear Chucker. Oh, huh. Okay. Man. Ooh, I want to put weapons on that thing. Ice Spear Chucker with a uh, Hunter's Harpoon is the new dream. <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, that sounds like such a good draft combo. Okay, I'm down. Entrancer, Silence, and... Yeah, this one seems like an okay 1-1 one, one Wisp. Like, 1-1 one, one Flyers for 1 are pretty reasonable in aggro decks. GDPPSSB. Thank you for subbing, man. Cheers. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Next up, next up, Harbinger's Bite. Uh, I hate that this is Harbinger's Bite. Because, like, the other Harbinger's Bite was so flavorful... And this one, like, like, I'm not even sure if that's a Black Sky Harbinger. What's going on? All right, anyways. Um, yeah, this this card has Nightfall and deals two damage to the enemy player, which is like Shadow Burn. The fact that your opponent is drawing cards and you are not leads me to believe this might be tricky, but it's a common, so the Draft Harbinger's Bite deck can work. Especially if we can find another spell damage card. Um, like, I can definitely see somebody just stacking these cards, because they're going to get past super low in draft. So if you just make a Harbinger's Bite draft deck, like, it's like, you know, I think it's literally just like 18 Harbinger's Bites and uh, 
uh, some yetis or something like that. <laughs> like, I think you can do it. I want to do it. We're going to have to give it a shot at some point. Uh, it's it's generally bad in singles. <laughs> Rindra's Choice, that's amazing and going to shift the meta. Umbran Death Watcher, plus one, plus one. Oh, okay. I, that looks really good. That's much better than the ma than the axe that does the same thing. Hey, and we got Acquisitive Crow. That card is super high value, and it's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Death Strike. Yeah, we talked about that one. That one's really good. Lunging Wisp is cool. Substitute Sewer Sludge. When you play a unit with more strength or health than Sewer Sludge, the Sludge gets plus one, plus one. Oh, nice! It's a constantly evolving goop. <laughs> It's also our first ooze creature type. Okay, I'm down with it. That card is derpy, but hilarious, and it's really fun to just consistently uh, beef up. It is a plus one, plus one, so it's a... Yeah, I think you're always going to like get that necessary evolve. That card gets pretty crazy pretty fast for a one drop. That's uh, fairly close to um, Awakened Student type stats. Just gets horribly out of control. I think you actually play this in Ranked. Rilgan's Disciple. Whenever you play a spell, it deals double damage. So, uh, yeah. That's the best 2-3 we've seen, right? Like, it is just a 2-3 that is, like, very good at trading into things, and if you don't block it, then it finest hours and deals 10 to your face. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, disrupt, kill an enemy relic or silence a unit. Fiery Fissure, deal 4 damage with Overwhelm. If you have Tribute, that one's actually really good. That's I think that's a better gun down for the most part. It's not going to kill quite as much, but there's not that many things that actually take 5. Gun down is nice for the overall stat line, though. Like, 5 is a lot. Cliffside Caretaker gives flying. Okay, cool. I like this art, too. Um... Hey! First bow peep. Excellent. Kriva is amazing. This card looks really, really fun against control in general, and also is just like a draft bomb. No, I think this is this is like one of my most playable rares that we've picked up so far. Scale Channel Sorcerer. When you play a spell, it gets plus two this turn. Okay, that's maybe better than... Um... Nah, it's probably not better than the other one, uh, Fevered Scout. But it is a little bit more durable when you're not playing spells, so you don't have quite as many, like, issues with that. I don't know. I, I think this is probably not great. Corrupted Umbran has Berserk. Yeah, we talked about that one. Reality Shift! Okay, enemy unit into its owner's hand plus an additional enemy unit for each of your units with Endurance. A Reality Shift Endurance deck sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Such a derpy card, but okay. It is nonetheless like a crystallized style sweep with warp, so I, I think we're okay with it. You have one of your units plus five plus five, sacrifice it at the end. So this is the Dark Return guy with the noose around his neck, and he's doing things that are kind of not good. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some damage there, but uh, it's a slow spell. The buff is only like as good as a Victor's Cry, and it only happens once. And you have to sacrifice it, even if it like... Why is it sacrifice when it deals damage in addition to at the end of turn? What like was there some problem with it sticking around? Oh, because you need to have like berserk proof. Oh gosh. Yeah, this this card has some scars, man. I don't know. This is terrible rare. You can't even put it on your elf. Reinforced baton. Three cost two three. Oh gosh, that's good. Like, Talon and Ostrix is pretty playable, and I think this is as well. Beat Stick. Nice. Alright. Torrential Downpour. One enemy damage to each enemy and scout. Oh, I like it! It's like you got the Hailstorm, you got the Rainstorm, and now you got the... It's kind of wet. <laughs> Rika, Desert Navigator, is amazing. Won't be pretty. I like a little bit more now that there's actually a deck that you can play with it. I still don't like this design, but whatever. Iceberg Hail Streaker and, ooh, Advanced Scout, Infiltrate, and Scout for a 3 cost 2-1? Oh, Infiltrate Scout. Okay, so it doesn't have Infiltrate and Scout, it has Infiltrate Scout. Alright, still a Draft Flyer at 3, I'm okay with it. Oh, it keeps the 5-5 five five buff after end of turn. Fair enough. Yeah, you're right, I wasn't paying attention to that. Two premiums, Fierce Mosaraptor. Ooh, the, I bet, I don't think that was glowy green before. I think they actually added color to this one. Their premium treatments may even be just get, be getting better. 
another nice endurance unit that makes the whole like endurance strategy a little bit more fun um stat line's not amazing but it's fine marionette cross good little shadow aggro card especially good as a 1-0 so i'm glad to have one siphon vitality okay it's the world joiner ability on a fast spell at six huh and it's just spread about all okay that seems like a solid trick yeah okay this card looked brutal i'm down for it premium mistress blight awesome uh journey guide glad to have that uh spite feeder knight of sorrow umbran death watcher all right we're getting through most of the comments now Hey, got our first end. End of the story, even, which is probably the best end. Very good. Warrant Officer, Tribute Stun an Enemy Unit, uh, gets strength equal to that unit's strength. Oh, cute! That seems very good. Oh, but it's a tribute. So, a little harder to do than a summon, but still okay. Um, yeah. Tribute on stun abilities doesn't sound quite that good. So this card is not as good as it looks, but... I'm still pretty down with it, and there's gotta be there's so many way, different ways to enable tribute. That card probably actually sees play in draft. Uh, Iceberg Scattershot. When you play a unit, it deals one damage to the enemy player. This is the second Yeti that does that, so I'm also glad to put Hunter's Harpoon on this one. Gosh, Hunter's Harpoon is such a good card now. Yeah, we're opening over a hundred right now. Alessi Cumbre Archmage. Yeah, this is a plus one permanent bonus. So another. Uh, this is our rare version of um, Awakened Student, who I don't believe is in draft packs. So, yeah, seems pretty cool. Um, training Ground creates a monk with Endurance and Scouts. Uh, the monk costs two, so it's three for a two-two with Scout. And I don't know. I, I mean, at least you can hold it for Crown of Possibilities, but eh. Kyrex Coach Driver, awesome dinosaur. Gunslinger seems great. Transmogrifier, this seems like a fairly poor relic, but I don't know. There's a lot of this plus three negative X in Shadow right now, and I don't know why. I guess it's kind of a good Berserk ability, and it also is a good activator for your Momentum Engine. Oh, man, Momentum Engine is, like, that That engine is ridiculous, man. There's so many ways to activate it, and it's just so disgusting in draft. And it's colorless. I don't know. I think it's going to just sort of roll people over... Like, I, I thought it looked like a pretty good card with a fairly decent drawback, but there's so many cards that buff it. Like, you've got a dozen spellcraft things, you have all of these shadow tricks. Uh, I don't know. Like, I think that card's just maybe going to have to get nerfed down to, like, 9 or 8 health. Ancient of the Ice Caves. That's my second Ancient of the Ice Caves. I actually drafted one of these. Uh, Alchemist's Concoction. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Spear Diver has Flying and Berserk. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, that's like a 4-5 with a really, really good upside. Oh, no, it's a 2-5 with a fairly okay upside. Like, it's a 2-5 that can just kill your opponent outright with a finest tower. So, you know, seems good. Premium End of Hostilities, that card will probably see play. Clan, Wallbreaker, I wouldn't disenchant anything that people tell you to disenchant early on. Like, because I guarantee you that some of those legendaries are going to get used in, like, tier 1 decks, and people are going to be like, that works? Uh, Bloodthirsty Brawler, Berserk Overwhelm. That is a pretty good combination of skills on a pretty well-statted uncommon. Stone Scarf Pickaxe. Okay, yeah, like, look at that. If you put a pickaxe on a Bloodthirsty Brawler, that's like, yeah. Now, okay, this, this, this makes these, like, more aggressive weapons make a lot more sense. Uh, we got Blast. I like the art on Blast. That's a really good lightning bolt. Rika, Cull the Deck. I love that there is a card that refers to the deck. <laughs> because it's a, yeah, because you can play cards, but also it's actually doing something to the deck. Snowfort Trumpeter, 3-3 three, three Yeti for 2. Totally down with it. Like a 2-2 two, two Yeti for 2 is not awful, and that seems okay. Shiver, this is a new execute in blue. I dig it. This is actually fairly powerful. I'm pretty okay with this. Um, yeah, uh, Meditation, give one of your, huh, okay, what a fascinating warp card. God, that card is brutal with Heart of the Vault. All right, I'm down. Uh, 
Long Barrel. Um, yep, we already have Long Barrel. Mind Fire, that's a good, like, sort of aggressive card. First standard, I think, that we've picked up. Gift of Battle. Ooh, one cost Berserk. All right, I'm down with it. That is just a really good way to repeat an attack in a very, very short period of time. Blue's getting a lot of power in this set just from Berserk cards. Fiery Fisher, Herald, Substitutes, Clan. With right target color. You just draw to quick draw. Okay. There's an Inspire for almost every battle skill. This one's okay. First Flame. Every single, like... I don't know why it is that every single card that has Inspire units you draw get X really seems like it also has X. Like, this card just looks like it should have quick draw, because it's a 2-2 quick draw, like, and that would be a pretty good card for two. Like, there's so many 2-2 quick draws, that's sort of what you expect. But instead it has 2-2, and then some other unit gets quick draw. I'm not sure I like the Inspire designs. They seem a little confusing to me. First Flame, not like, you know, immediately confused. Well, yeah, like in general, just when you look at them, you kind of assume that they have the skill that they don't. Yeah, I think that's going to trip people up a lot. In any case, we got our first First Flame, so now we got to get some end of the barrels, because, gosh, First Flame's fun. We also want the Mask. What's it called? Hot Blood Barbarian, Core Scavenger, Arcane Defense, Tend the Flock, Vital Arcana. Draw two cards, you gain four. Eh, for five, that's not that great, but it's it's not as good as Ancient Lore. Yeah, I'm not down with it. Roland's Memorial. Aw, at the end of your turn, if a unit went to your void. They actually made him a memorial, huh? Okay. Give one of your units plus one, plus one for each spell in your void. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, like, that's a lot of stats to be adding to a relic. This card is not as powerful as Xenonobel is, but it definitely gives you, like, a fairly difficult... Like, this This makes you have a hard time, and it's particularly good with Paladins, which is kind of where you want it to be. Blade Whirl, give one of your units three, and uh, while other units plus three attack while you have it. Okay. Uh, well, that card does come down on, like, flying cards. We've gotten really good legendary counts, right? <laughs> like, this is, like, our fourth or fifth already, and we're not very far in. Hey, first end, end of days. All of the power you need to cast new tomorrow. Gathering Lights plays more Wisps, then gains one... Ooh, okay. That's actually really reasonable for a life gain card. Gale Prowler gives you... Elemental Cat, Nice. Is Stormlinks an elemental cat now? Because if it's not, it should be. Alright. Snow Rager, Berserk, create and draw a snowball. Oh! Wow, I love this card! Four Yeti snowball cards! Yay! Alright. Oh yeah, I guess it's our second end, isn't it? I forgot we got end of the story. <laughs> Uh, Mistress of Light, Horrifying Helm, Advanced Scout, Ten the Flocks, Trumpeter, Sirocco, Elementalist, Sirocco. Is that one of the places that's mentioned? I don't know. Enemy unit with flying into its owner's hand. Okay. Weird. Another Sarasaur. Definitely filling some sort of slot there, but we'll see if it actually ends up being... Coronal Umbrin, Herald, Lothry Target Crawler, Lockhorns. Crest O Mystery, that's number two, so we got two of our Xenon Crests, yay! Love Gift of Battle. Another Acquisitive Crow. Nothing new here. Yeah, moving right along, let's get this going. Oni, Moonlight Huntress, Sheriff's Hat. Oh, it's got Detain! <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, four for a three-three with a good spellcraft. That's a that's a fine draft rare. Much better than spiked buckler, and spiked buckler is playable in draft. Barricade. That's a weird spell, but I like it. Kind of great on lifesteal paladins. My goodness, this just makes you very scared to attack into anything. <laughs> also, you can like. You can attack with a bunch of lifesteal units, then you can drop your 4 cost to zero four, 4 and then you can do, like, ridiculousness. Alright. Stinging Wind has flying during the enemy turn. So it's... Tech... Yeah, it kind of like Reach, but not quite. I don't know. Bad Sandstorm Titan. Crest of Order. Nice, yep. Crests are still good. 
important reader. I love that this card exists. There are now eight second sights. Oh, I'm so excited. This is not like card disadvantage. It's kind of a minimal effect on the board, but oh, I just, I'm so excited about like eight damage static bolts. Let's do it. Still no iOS update? Yeah, sorry they're holding that up, AP. Uh, like that's, that's rough. All right, uh, Sharpened Reflexes, Robo Buddy. Yeah, Barricade and Draft is going to be not as bad as playing around Entrapment and Draft, which I think is no longer in Draft. Grimy... <laughs> All Pluracra? <laughs> All right. They make a little troll lizard? <laughs> All right, what's per turn you pay to to give Grimy Elbowakra flying this turn and it deals with damage to you? <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's see here. What else have we got? Um, okay. This is all pretty reasonable. First Frost, Shaman, Cut Ties. Ooh, Premium Territorial Elf. Yeah! Oh, we got a new Sensari, too. A worm Calling gives us the... Well, we talked about that card. That was really good. We play a spell that gets pulse. Oof. Brutal. All right. Fun draft stuff. The draft, like, the, the draft in Origin Port looks like it's going to be amazing. Honor the Ancestors, that card is a really cool one. Spite Fear, Gift to Battle, Spiteful Lumen. Torrential Downpour, Death Strike. Spiteful Lumen gives one of your Wisps deadly. Oh, nice! I like it. Living Example, uh, Inspire Units you draw get plus one, plus one. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That card seems good. I think that probably plays okay in ranked. Fearbinder is... Yeah, this card is weird. Saw it in draft, wasn't super impressed, but did actually do a little bit of work, and it, you know, at least does in tombs and tributes and stuff, and you need those things, so... I don't know, maybe. Hey, CD Skarn, how's it going? Master at Arms, Sky Crew, Territorial Elf. Ooh, we got another Linebreaker Shield, those are great. Ah, our first Crest of Glory. Hey, this Rakano Crest is actually pretty sweet. The Rakano Banner is not that great, so like this is it's nice to see them get a nice, like, symmetrical shield that doesn't look that bad. The Cross Swords is kind of the Rakano thing. That's not like super original, but Who's crossing swords here? We got a uh I'm really interested in the symbology of all of the different factions. I think we have a gunslinger and like a paladin crossing swords here. Curious. Alright. Sharpened reflexes seems like a cool trick. I'm pretty down with a, like just a kill a unit and get a scout type thing. Rotor cycle, welding torch, grit. Umbran death watcher substitute. Amar and armadillo. You use with endurance have plus one plus one. You just you draw also get endurance, which, huh? That's interesting. Cause like, at that point you don't want to play endurance because you won't get the good inspires, but also like the ability to buff. Endurance units is what's cool about it. This card is actually probably good. And I, I'm really not that fond of Inspire in general, but I'm kind of down with like a card that actually... Yeah, okay. You just play this in an Endurance deck, and you think you're pretty happy with it. And then it gives itself Endurance, so that's nice. Uh, Dusk Raider doesn't give... First Long Live the Queen... 4-2 Overwhelm Clan Lawbreaker. Looks lovely. Gathering Lights is lovely. Surgeon Saw. Shame Bearer. Pay one and sacrifice it to play. Oh, okay. So this is our... Wow. That's not a bad cycle. A three-cost spell for... I mean, a three-cost curse, but still. That's a... Uh, it's got synergy with Unseen in green, which is really solid. That card actually sees play, I think, in, like, green, purple, unseen. And we got a factory quota so we can shut down all of those uh, ridiculous control decks. <laughs> My market shall be completed. Light them up. 
Ugh, I don't like light them up, but okay. I guess it's like a mini rally. That's actually not too bad, is it? Worm culling's fine. Petition's good. Grit is very bad. <sighs> Was this card too good at two? Probably just because of armory. Gosh dang it, armory. All right. Sometimes you see cards at 3 and you're like, that was a card that was printed at 2 and was clearly too good. Aerial battle, deal 5 damage to each unit with flying. Oh yeah, we talked about this card. That one's really cool. Good way to just sort of sweep the board in the air, and if you can give things flying, even better. <clears throat> There's so much hate for flyer strategies, which is interesting, because I don't think they're super popular outside of... um. I don't know, I guess it's a really good way to shut down Huru and, like, sort of give Xenon a bit more of a chance to shine. Well, they, that's a blue one, but, like, there's some yellow Xenon hate in two, so. Moonlight Huntress, flying plus three plus three at night, summon Nightfall. Five five flyer at night. Okay, so this is just, like, almost a better Moonlight Gargoyle. I dig it. Also gives you something to do with Moonlight Gargoyle. Spite Feeder, Grave Marker Oni, draw a weapon of your choice from your deck. Ooh, okay. That seems solid enough. Stat line's not good, but Tribute is. It's basically just a, it's a Tribute Rise to the challenge. Ooh, yikes. That doesn't Rise Rise, but nonetheless. Soulbringer, we talked about this card, good times as far as like Wisps go. <coughs> After image, tend the flock, play 301 sheeps. All of the sheeps. <laughs> I'm gonna get plenty of premium sheeps. Uh, Iron Fist Faithful, I've come around on this card. I think it actually might end up being very solid in draft and maybe even in ranked. Uh, okay, Spore Breath is cute. I don't think we've talked about it, but it's pretty fun. Hair Trigger Pistol, line last rights. Sacrifice a unit to play a sigil of your choice from your deck depleted. That is really fascinating to me. Time has so many different ramp cards. This is a pretty interesting one, though. Yeah, fast speed does really make it, I think. Like that, it's basically just like a better devour at that point. Initiation Bell. Pay one to create and draw a 2 2 monk with endurance if you've played a spell this turn. Seems like a reasonable bell. Yeah, I'm happy to bang that gong. Okay, and this unit just gets a permanent buff, but when it deals... Man, I still don't like this card, but okay. Spear Diver, Rotor Cycle. Looks good. What's the legendary? Ah, our first Void Drummer. Okay. That's not one that I really need copies of, but we might build like a Scream deck. Secret Weaver, Feed the Flames, Spiteful Lumen... I think we're getting through most of the commons and uncommons now. Scavenging Spike back. Overwhelm Tribute 5-5. Five, five. More good dinosaurs. And a common, too. A 1-0 Sandstorm Scarf is always appreciated. Master at Arms, Auric Herd Ward. This is a weird Aegis effect, but it's not that bad compared to, like, a Protect. Like, it's a Protect that gets you some extra value, so I'm down with it. Another Kriva. Nice! We got some Shepherding to do. Also, Creep is a great scream target, because she gets her summon and then she goes back and doesn't die. Ooh, Recombobulate. I don't know what this is. Warp. Put an attacking enemy unit on top of its owner's deck. Reduce the cost of the top unit of your deck. Whoa! Okay. That seems playable. Um... You have to convince your opponent to attack so you can recombobulate. Because you can't play it off the top of your deck otherwise. But if you do, it's not card advantage, but it is like actually pretty good ramp. That's a lot to ask for, but I think it's pretty good Praxis ramp. Also, like this card costs basically nothing in uh, certain warp decks. It makes Heart of the Vaults cost less, and you can make you can now put Heart of the Vaults on top of your deck. Oof. 
No, that card seems like it's for real. Sandspout Mirage. Man, I'm so happy about that card. Quick Trigger Outlaw. When you play a weapon... Yeah, this card... I've got one of these now, and this is actually a pretty fun draft card overall, I'd say. Seems like a difficult tribute for the most part, but the, the damage that he's dealing is pretty solid, and he's got okay stats, and he mostly kills stuff, so seems fine. Okay. Uh, hot Blood, Sewer Sludge, Scatter Shot, Saddle Up! Give a unit plus four plus four as a fast spell. Oh, that's just like a better... Wow, that card seems good. I didn't realize that was a common. Yeah, I mean, it's just better than Ironclad Oath. And Ironclad Oath is super playable. This is... This is top end. Wow. I like it. Okay. The armor from Ironclad Oath does sometimes matter, but... You're super happy to run Saddle Up. Okay. Um, Crest to Glory. Nothing else new here. Glad to be filling out those crests, though. Another quick trigger. That's not a rare I'm super excited about getting multiple copies of, because I mostly just want them in draft, but okay. Premium training ground, too. Fearbinder again. Not a lot new here. Keep moving. What's up with draft? Draft is drafting. I don't think there's anything. Ah, momentum builder. Okay. <laughs> Eventually we'll build the momentum builder deck. So many different ways to trigger momentum builder. Egen's choice. This is a cool choice. This is the only choice that we hadn't seen, and yeah, as far as it goes. Kill an attachment on an enemy. Saying that I thought it said kill an attachment or an enemy. <laughs> I was like, um, are you sure? Because a player counts as an enemy. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, like, uh, blow stuff up or make armor. Seems okay. Lingering influence is a nice nod to Roland, too. Hey, it's our first Zuberi. When he attacks the top unit of your deck, it's plus strength equal to his strength. Inspire units you draw get double damage. This is one of the more powerful um, Inspire abilities that you can have. And like also, like, yeah, this seems like a reasonable sort of... Like, there's a lot going on with this card. I think it's fairly solid. It's got Sandstorm Titans... Or not... It's Steward of the Past stats and cost. And, like, the attack ability is really good. Although attacking with Zuberi isn't quite as good as having, like, a Steward of the Past and using it on defense. But... Like, the Inspire ability is solid, so you don't have to attack with him. Yeah, you got some good choices, and he's just going to stick around for a while. Marionette Cross. Wormic Chanter. Another Sandworm guy. Pay 2 to give Wormic Chanter plus 4 plus 4. Oh, it's not very expensive for a 5-5. Five five. Okay. Weird. I don't know who that design's for, but it's not terrible, and it's actually a pretty fun uncommon in draft. I, I like it. I really hate cards that have like too much of like a sort of cost like that, where they yeah, premium coastal battle mage, worm culling, good stuff. Like I, I don't know when you have to like pay for things like that. That that's a mechanic that is very common in games, but bothers me somewhat. Where you're not getting an advantage, you're just paying for the card that you already had. Um, burglarize. Can be useful, though. Steal an enemy relic, put it in your hand. I think we already talked about that card. There's our first end is near. And a feral spiteling. When it attacks, each of your radiance gets plus one strength for each unit in your void. Oh, that's a lot of things going on. Okay. Yeah, no. Brutal. Um... Okay, yeah, no, that seems very good on, like, a Radiant Wisp-type setup. We finally got Radiant Wisp Tribal, and Radiant Wisp Tribal is fairly strong. Similar to Explorer or Sentinel Tribal, only a lot trickier. Crest of Mystery, I think that's number three. Flame Bo Oh, God.
is it weird that this is the best firebomb card that we've had? Because, like, that many fire... Those firebombs are worthless until they... What shuffles your deck in Eternal? I, I know you can shuffle your deck in Eternal now. And I think it's actually not that hard to do anymore. Oh my god, that seems... That... Now that is a card that makes, like, unitless look really... <laughs> Lumen Reclaimer shuffles your deck. Fair enough. I don't know, maybe it does. We'll find out. Regardless, like, a 2-2 two -two over 1 for 2 is decent in fire, so... You can play that card. No, they're legendary. Another Zuberi. Okay, not where I want my legendaries to go in general, because I'm not that excited by this card as a legendary, but that's fine. Oh, Sigvard. Okay, so he's an 11 cost. 4, 5, costs 3 less, 3 less, 3 less. So he can cost as little as 2 for a 4, 5. And he probably costs 5 for a 4, 5. Okay, yeah, like, I think uh, this card got spoiled at 9, which was insane, and uh, at 11, he's not that good. Ten would be a kind of good middle ground. Crest of Progress. So, what's on the Crest of Progress? We've got an actual temple. I gotta tell you, this kind of looks like a Xenon Crest, because we got the sun, we got the temple... We have the moon, I think, on either side. This looks way more shamanic and less about, like, actual knowledge and learning. But okay. I don't I don't really know what the Combray are fully about. Sandstorm Scarf. We got a Wildfire Sensori. I love the guard dogs. Good old friendly Mastiffs. Oh, that's my spoiler card, Ava Islands Elite. Solid draft ca un draft rare and probably pretty fun in rank two. Unfinished business looks good. We're still getting our 100 for pack, cool. There was like a, some modifications to Russian rewards. Rilkon's Disciple deals double damage in turn. I think we're getting through this. Arcanum Hourglass, start your turn, play a random power card from your void. <sighs> okay, yeah, this one's really weird. I don't know how I don't know what to do with this one overall, but like it, I think it's better than um the other one, Forgotten Find. By quite a lot. Bullet Shaper. <laughs> I hate this card, man. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a fan of more Acarias. Uh, five cost Acaria sounds like such a brutal time, and that seems like all this card does. Amaran Armadillo. We also got Premium Consuming Flames. Ooh, nice effect. I love that some of the fire is moving upwards. Okay, good stuff. I actually thought it was raining down from below, but nope, the consuming flames are just very consuming. I don't know. I think Bullet Shaper's the only one, which is weird. Randori. Randori must be like an actual like thing, but I also like how it's random. <laughs> uh, this is a very good fast spell. <laughs> Kind of a stupid trick in time. Pathlighter, deadly and reduces cost of radiance and tribute. We talked about this one, that's a lot of different abilities on a dire fang spider, so. Oh, premium randori. Yeah, there we go. See? That's how the uh <laughs> What am I doing? I'm just tossing someone? <laughs> Alright. I love that there's giant magical effects to that now. <laughs> Encouragement? 
Oh, everyone needs some encouragement. Give It's not very nice encouragement. <laughs> Give a unit plus two plus two and flying this turn. Okay, so this is Valkyrie training. Bar the gates. Choose a non-power card. They can't place cards with that name. Man, a lot of, uh, a lot of rules for um, this kind of setup. Also, is that Jack? It looks like Jack. It also looks like uh, Horace Trapper. I feel like this is revisiting the moment from Horace Trapper where, like, the gates are barred to him by, like, Tavrot? It's very strange. I don't know. In any case, choose a non-power card from the enemy player's hand. You can... They can't play cards with that name for three turns. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about that one. Seems kind of bad, but... Certainly does mess with your opponent's strats. Genev Merchant, and you can just like lock them completely at a certain tempo. Uh, Genev Merchant, we want merchants in general. Temple Shihan, uh, got that inferiority complex, which we now know gives Reckless. Nothing else in here. I think we're mostly looking at rares now. Second Umbra Necluder and a Gift of Battle. So I guess I'm building Umbra Necluder Mill. Aerial Battle, Lingering Influence. Umbra Necluder's gotta be a really weird way to lose the game. Siphon Vitality. Our third Zuberi. Our second Recombobulate. Aerial Battle. Okay, so we didn't great, get great legendaries this time around. A couple of ends. Another Merchant. That's good. I'm always cheering for getting Merchants. I think we got enough uh, Crests to build out most of the decks that we want to run Crests in. Temple Shion. Sheriff Marley. All right, finally starting to hit some duplicates. Another barricade. Oh, barricade's a rare trick. That's good. Amaran Stinger. Okay, what? Put three scorpion traps into the top 20 cards of the enemy deck. I assume it's a spell and not a relic. It kind of looks like it's a relic. Like, that's a relic symbol, right? Not a spell? So it doesn't go to your void, it goes into your play, and then you destroy it to make scorpions? That's an awful lot of hoops. This is 2-4 charge, though. A scorpion trap is a spell? Okay, well in that case this card is very solid. That's so weird, because, like, the round circle is used for power and relics. Answer the call? Hey, nice. Good legendary. Amaran Armadillo. Stonescar Pickaxe. I got some harmless questions. Hey! So many Krivas, man. I'm so down with this. Ava Islands Elite, read the stars, Nightfall draw a card. Oh, nice. Okay. Easy Nightfall. I like it. Thins out your deck quite a bit if you're trying to look for a particular thing. Probably not good, but it's cute. Okay, so we only have like 13,000 shifts done to work with. 